This is Daily Armenia, Civilnet's Daily News Digest. Here's what you need to know today. Azerbaijan has extended the pretrial detention of Ruben Vartanyan, the billionaire businessman and philanthropist who briefly served as Nagorno-Karabakh state minister and has been held since last year. Vartanyan's detention has been extended by four months, Azerbaijani state media reported today. No other information was made immediately available. Vartanyan is one of dozens of Armenians currently held in Azerbaijan, including seven other former senior Nagorno-Karabakh officials who were detained during last September's mass displacement of Armenians from the region. Many are facing lengthy prison sentences on terrorism and war crimes charges. Russia's top diplomat has indicated the Kremlin plans to maintain its peacekeeping mission in Nagorno-Karabakh, despite the fact that it was almost entirely depopulated following the forcible displacement of more than 100,000 Armenians last year. Speaking to reporters yesterday at the United Nations in New York, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Russian President Vladimir Putin and Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev had agreed that, at this stage, the presence of Russian peacekeepers plays a positive role in strengthening stability and trust in the region and assisting in the return of Karabakh residents who want to do so. This matter no longer concerns the Armenian side, this is a matter of bilateral relations between Russia and Azerbaijan, Lavrov added. Russia first deployed peacekeepers to Nagorno-Karabakh in November 2022 as part of the ceasefire declaration that ended that year's war in and around the region. The peacekeepers' initial mandate runs until next November, though Azerbaijan's capture of Nagorno-Karabakh last year threw those plans in serious doubt. Azerbaijan has ended cooperation with the deliberative arm of Europe's oldest human rights body just hours before members voted overwhelmingly to suspend the country. At a press conference yesterday in Strasbourg, the head of Azerbaijan's six-member delegation told reporters his country would cease its engagement with and presence at the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe until further notice, accusing the body of pro-Armenian bias. Hours later, PACE's remaining members voted 76 to 10 to pass a resolution taking away voting rights from Azerbaijan's delegates for this year's session. All 10 no votes came from Turkey and Albania. The resolution, initiated earlier this week by lawmaker Frank Schwab of Germany, cited Azerbaijan's democratic shortcomings, its repeated refusals to allow PACE representatives to visit the country, and its blockade and subsequent forceful takeover of Nagorno-Karabakh last year. Suspensions of this kind by PACE are exceedingly rare. Most recently, the body suspended Russia's delegation in 2014 after the country's illegal annexation of Crimea. PACE then expelled Russia in 2022 after its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The Council of Europe is an international organization promoting human rights, democracy, and the rule of law in Europe and the former Soviet Union. It is separate from the European Union. You can also check out the latest edition of our weekly Insight series, which, as of this week, is back up and running for the year. This week, host Eric Hakopian reviews the latest developments and ongoing peace efforts between Armenia and Azerbaijan and previews Yerevan's upcoming war crimes cases against Baku at the International Criminal Court. The full broadcast is up now on our website and YouTube channel. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 780. That's the number of people the city of Yerevan has employed this week to clear the city's streets and sidewalks of snow, according to numbers provided yesterday by City Hall to the Armin Press News Agency. You can find footage of Yerevan's first snowfall of the season up now on our YouTube channel and social media pages. And as always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.